Today I'm going to discuss the Waterman Edson Fountain Pen, the pen which served as Waterman's flagship pen between the year 1992, where it was first introduced in France, up until a few years ago when it was finally discontinued. I first noticed this pen in the year 1999, just after I'd finished school, and I've never coveted any material possession as much as I coveted one of these pens before I finally got my hands on one in the year 2001. It was actually one of the first things I bought after getting a job. As far as fountain pens go, in my opinion, this is definitely one of the most beautiful fountain pens I've ever laid my eyes on, and I would really suggest that anyone who really loves fountain pens gets their hands on one of these pens while they still can. During the course of this video, I'm going to discuss some of the Edson strong points as well as its weak points, and just remember that this is one of my favorite fountain pens, so if I mention any weak points concerning this pen, please don't take offense, as as far as I'm concerned, the Edson is definitely one of my best pens. Waterman has chosen to discontinue this pen and haven't replaced it with anything, and I hope that they develop an Edson Mark II in the same way as they develop various versions of the Waterman Expert fountain pen. Besides having an interest in pens, I also have a great interest in retro computing, so what I did was, as a project, I decided to create a Edson Mark II of my own, making use of my Silicon Graphics 320 Visual Workstation, and I'll discuss this model in the second half of this video. The Edson Fountain Pen is a stunningly beautiful pen which offers almost perfect writing performance. When it comes to weak points, the Edson really only has three in my opinion, and the last of which is really just my opinion. Firstly, the section of this pen tends to get scratched by the cap through continued use. This is a great pity, as this pen probably has one of the most beautiful sections produced by anyone ever. Secondly, when it comes to the pen's cap, it's not made of solid gold, but is actually a brass structure which has been gold plated. I believe that for a pen of this caliber, a solid gold cap would have been much better. When it comes to the pen's filling mechanism, they've made use of a cartridge system or cartridge converter system. And yes, Waterman did invent the cartridge for the fountain pen. However, I believe that for a pen of this caliber, a piston filling mechanism would have been a much better option. I currently have three Edson fountain pens in my collection, one Edson Ali and two blue and golds. The one blue and gold has the stud at the tip of its barrel and the other one doesn't. The one with the stud at the tip of its barrel is being used in this video. A number of years ago I actually dropped my fourth Edson fountain pen and damaged its section and barrel to a point where they needed to be replaced. This was a bit of a disaster at the time but actually turned out to be quite a good thing as it's enabled me to take a detailed look as to how this pen actually functions and how it's constructed. This has also helped me in producing my model for the Edson Mark II. When looking to start a project to create an Edson Mark II model of my own, I took into account all of the weak points which I've mentioned before in this video. And just take note that this model that I'm going to show you and discuss in the next section of this video has been completely scratch built. Although I have a few of these pens in my collection, I didn't take any measurements of any of the pens when building up this model. To start off with, I'm going to discuss the material that was used to construct the original pen. The majority of the original pen is constructed from precious resin, which is in fact a high quality epoxy resin. The section and the barrel are made of the same material. The only difference is that the barrel is coated with an extra five layers of a UV cured lacquer. And what they did before they applied the lacquer is they actually powder blasted the epoxy so that the lacquer would adhere to it properly. When considering the material that I'd used to make my Edson Mark II model, I have decided to deviate from the high quality epoxy resin used in the original design and I've rather decided to think about maybe using high quality crystal glass. There is a company in France called Baccarat that makes extremely high quality lead crystal glass and it would be able to make it in the color that is used in this pen. I happen to have an egg which is made by them and it looks extremely good and feels extremely good in the hands. The problem with any kind of plastic is it generally has a rather dead feel about it and if you've ever handled an object such as this egg made by Baccarat you'd realize that it has an extremely good feel in the hand and would be far superior to that of a resin based pen. When considering the objectives that I hope to achieve with my Edson Mark II design I firstly wanted a pen that was a piston filler, deviating from the cartridge filler design of the original pen. Secondly, I wanted a pen made of high quality materials, or extremely high quality materials in fact, better than those used in the original design. Therefore, I'm going to opt for lead crystal glass over the high quality epoxy used in the original pen. Lastly, I wanted the design to be partially skeletonized, as I believe that a skeleton type pen is extremely good to look at, and having the features of this pen partially skeletonized would definitely enhance the Edson's look. 
As a result, so I've opted to deviate from the solid metal cap and rather go for a lead crystal glass cap with a solid gold clip. When considering the design of the piston filling mechanism for this pen, I opted to deviate from the standard threaded blind cap design found on the top of the barrel of most pens and rather opted for a spring-loaded design in which the entire outer section of the barrel slides backwards, unlocking the piston filling mechanism and allowing it to rotate freely in order to ink the pen. All of the metal structures comprising the piston filling mechanism would be made of surgical titanium and the piston filling mechanism also features four high quality bearing races which would give it an extremely solid smooth feel when inking the pen. Lastly here's a picture of a demonstrative version of the model showing how the entire piston filling mechanism fits within the constraints of the barrel. I'm going to end this video off by stating that the Edson is a truly spectacular fountain pen and I really hope that Waterman produces a Mark II version in the future. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks very much for watching.